now it's yeah all right that was a luxury i did not realize yeah <laughs> big difference Almost ready. Testing one, two. Am I going into the red? You will be in the second. All right. And feel comfortable. I have Clorox wipes and I've wiped all these mics down, so don't be afraid to get up on it. I am afraid. you too. I ain't scared. (laughs) Scared of no COVID. (laughs) All right. Papa J, we are live. Eric, if you want to just tilt that camera up just a hair tad. There, down. That's there. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Here, I got it. I can see it there. You gotta go that way. No. Uh, Kill me, Smalls. Uh, that didn't help. Oh, that, that really worked. Thanks, man. No, it's because the cable. So go this way a little bit. <laughs> Jeez, you want me to do it? It would have been done. I got it. I got it. Go that way. That way. That way. Uh, that's perfect. He's, you're the biggest guy we're going to have on here, so that'll fit you. <laughs> perfect. All right, Papa J, whenever you are ready, my friend, we are live. I right, had to uh, hit the sounder. Do you have the sounder? No. We never do the sounder. Uh, we always right. put that in post. All right, where's our cameraman? Which cameraman? Opie. <laughs> what do you want to pitch of? Nothing. He's going to run the GoPro. Okay. You want to run that GoPro? Yeah. All right. Yeah, we're ready right now. You going to run it the whole time? Yeah. Yeah, because we're going to have a guest the whole time. Yes, sir. Man, we're wasting uh, this man's time. I'm starting to feel the dad vibes, like, hurry the F up, guys, let's go. So just so you know, we're all live, we're streaming, uh, we're everywhere right now, so uh, this is where you want to make sure you don't say the things that you said before the cameras were live. Yeah, yeah. We oh, yeah. We've uh, <laughs> already this, been canceled ten times, so <laughs> we're surviving still. Go ahead, Papa J. All right, let's go clean for the audio. All right, welcome to Big Lip Radio presents King of the Jungle. It is May 7th, 2022. It is Hawaiian Lions mat- last match. Yes. And you got it. Already there are tears. Well, there There's, are. There have been tears. This is going to be a... Uh, a lot of hugs, a lot of handshakes, a lot of... Uh, we'll see you again soon. Right. <laughs> we'll see you right. down the road, kid. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> see you down the road, Right, kid. so I am Big Papa Jay here with your co-host Z Money. What's up, guys? How you doing? Uh, we have our guest kicking off the show, the Navajo Warrior Nav. How are you doing? Yes, I am doing great, Papa Jay. How are you? Oh, fantastic. All right. Before I get into anything, you know, I sent you a list of stuff I want to talk about, so I'm going to talk about something completely different. Tell me, right. about, tell me about that weightlifting that you're doing. I don't believe we've <laughs> talked about that yet. That's with what? The Boss Hoss on social media? The Boss right. Hog. Yeah. 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 So big, big Boss Hog Marshall Zinn uh, is my strongman coach, so I now compete in strongman. So not only professional wrestling, right? I, that wasn't bad enough on my body. I decided <laughs> I wanted to start lifting heavy boulders. I wanted to start carrying yokes. I wanted to start throwing sandbags. I wanted to start doing all these crazy lifts. And so now, yeah, started competing in strongman. So we're coming up on two years of training. Uh, just finished right. a year of competing. So it's been it's been a great ride. Well, you look like you did 10 years ago or so. <laughs> I mean, it's really made a difference. What kind of strength gains are you getting on a percentage? Oh, in, enormous strength gains. Yeah. I, I couldn't put a percentage on it, but it's been, it's been incredible. Um, started at, at weighing you know, roughly you know, 275, 280, right. and now I'm 285, but everything's in a different place. Right. Yeah, so, it's like, it, so it's a lot better. How are those stairs? I've seen those wooden stairs. Oh, the power the, stairs. Yes, the power so, stairs. Uh, I've, I've been, never done I've that. I've been lucky enough to avoid the power stairs. I haven't had one of those in my competition yet, but but Marshall's competing in Finland coming up. Oh, okay. So he's got that in his competition. Right. So he's been training, getting ready for it. And you've never tried it yet? I have not. Not oh. with that kind of weight. Not with that kind of weight that he's been he's been <laughs> training crazy. with 400 pounds. Crazy. Lifting the, going up those stairs. So. When is your next competition? My next competition is on Saturday, the 21st of May. So in two weeks. Coming up? Yeah, coming up two weeks. It's a Viking Strong Competition 2022 in Tucson. All right. Yeah. Cool. Well, everybody be on the lookout for that. Now, what I, uh, what I really wanted to talk about, man, let me, let me tell you something. I know, it's, I know it's Lions Big Day, but before we get to that. Oh, yeah, before we get to that. I got <laughs> the WWE game, like the week after it came out. Okay. And uh, I want to tell you. You know, last one, the Battleground, Mm -hmm. I needed an arcade wrestling game so badly, (laughs) and that was, I played the hell out of it. Now we're back to uh, simulation, if you want to call it that. Uh, It's it's a wrestling game, and uh, 
wow, I haven't enjoyed a wrestling game this much since Ukes on PS2. All right. You keep talking about the cards, the card battle system. What is it, the wrestler manager or the WWE manager mode? The the my uh, the my ma- my general manager, my GM mode. That's yes, what the it's GM called. mode. Yeah. That is strangely addicting, and <laughs> and I'm whooping everybody's ass. Apparently, I know how to throw together a wrestling show. There you a, go. A little bit better than I know how to wrestle. <laughs> and uh, but finally, there's a reversal system. Yes. That is manageable. Now, I've seen the old games on YouTube, so I know people are using reversals. Mm-hmm. I could never get it to work. Neither could I. And it's, it, was, it was junk. It limited the playability, limited everything. So I what you're saying it. is 2K made a reversal mode that people over the age of 50 can accomplish. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I'm okay with it because I was doing it just fine, too. I was like, all right. <laughs> all right. Uh, the, uh, uh, if I'm to criticize anything, I think the uh, creator wrestler mode is a little shallow. Mm-hmm. But, uh, uh, you know course way deeper than battlegrounds but it's, it's true. just a tad bit shallow and after i spent two hours talking about a shallow uh, create create a wrestler I spent two hours making a uh, making a wrestler only to find out i couldn't use him in the modes i wanted to use oh, him in because no. i i made him outside of uh uh the mode i wanted to use so i was like oh bummer yeah you, know? you didn't want to spend another two hours making him in the other mode i did <laughs> oh <laughs> i did it looks just like me man i can't <laughs> Yeah, so, so of course I'm going to go around, I'm going to make all the IZW guys you all know, right. into my creative and have a, my own little stable is, is what I'm going for. But, uh, you know, you got cards in that game, yep. and uh, that seems to be the big thing now in a lot of games Yes, is, uh, is cards, and, uh, but it's not pay to win. Right, and uh, that's uh, that's that's big pay to play. I'm I'm not a fan of those games, and for some reason, 2K has been able to keep that out of a lot of their games. I feel like yep. EA killed Star Wars Battlefront by ha- introducing that just for three or four weeks before they finally relented and said, "Okay, we're not doing this no more," and Battlefront never never became what it once was. Mm. So, uh, so you're on the right track. I'm excited for next year's. Good. So am I. We're busy. We're hard at work already. Already doing it. Already. Uh, and this last one, you know, I mean, it, we took two years to make it, but right. it's also two years during a pandemic. Right. So imagine imagine how difficult that was for the team. It was like team. supersonic right. speed. Yeah. I feel so, like. And from the ground up. Yeah. From the I ground mean, up. Uh, we Yeah. All in-house, all through 2K. Nothing, right. you know, with um, our studio uh, digital concepts. Yeah. So out of uh, out of Nevada, California. Wow, the uh, the graphics are unlike anything I've ever seen before. Oh I mean, yeah. I mean, I sometimes you're looking, you're like, this could be TV. Yeah. You know, it's like wow. You know, depending on how they got the lights going and everything, it's could be TV. It's the closest thing to real. I've I see ever a lot seen. of people on uh, TikTok. They are doing like 10 to 20 second videos of their created character or even characters that are already created coming down the entrance. I'm like, is that? Is that TV or is that a video game? Yeah, and you right. have to read the description, and it's like, oh, the WWE 2K uh, video game is out. And I was like, holy crap, that is awesome. Yeah, there are times where the kids will be playing, and I'll walk in I th- thinking they're watching Raw or SmackDown. I'm like, <laughs> like oh, wait, it's the game. You know, same thing with the NBA game. When yeah. I see them, I'm like, who's playing today? Oh, no, it's, it's the game. You know, yeah, it's just right. incredible. It's Remember incredible. when we were uh, the, play, the PlayStation 1 back in the 90s? We're like, I can't get any better than this. Right. Yeah. Well, let me tell you what. This has gotten way better. It's gotten way better. <laughs> yeah, if you squinch it, right, it almost looks real. <laughs> right? It almost looks like a human. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Hawaiian Lions' last match. Yes. Uh, he chose you to go out with. How does that make you feel? Uh, I'm, I'm honored. Um, right. You know, we've been tag team partners for, she's going on 17, 18 years. Uh, as a team, and I was also one that that had a hand in his training right. when he started 20 years ago. So we've been more than just wrestling tag team partners. We're we're brothers, you know. Um, we're not blood, but we might as well be close you know, as you can be. As close as we can well, be. You guys live like five minutes from each other. And, yeah, you, you know, know I mean. we we live close to each other. <laughs> I'm I'm you know I, his son's my godson. My you know my daughters call him. Grunkle John, <laughs> you know, Grunkle so, John. and then he said, "Why, why Grunkle? It's like it's a cross between Grandpa and Uncle because you're so old." But, you know. <laughs> that sounds like what I'd say to you, man. No, man. I, I can't believe he's like he's like a year and a half younger than I am, and he's certainly wearing it a lot better. <laughs> unless he's unless unless he's using gallons of just for men, which maybe I don't know. I'm, I'm not so bad funny thing. story. I'm sure he doesn't want you to hear oh, the story, but right, yeah. So I would say it was going on three years ago. Maybe maybe a little longer. He already had the gray in the beard. Right. And I had him as he's been lucky though. Like like his hair. That's that's all him. That's all wow. on top of his head. Just just like me. Like uh, just dark hair, but 
beards are white. Thick. It's, yeah, Thick. you know, so, um, so John, you know, Hawaiian Line was booked for WWE as an extra in Las Vegas for Money in the Bank. I think that was a pay-per-view that was going on there. So myself and, and Michelle and Keely, our, our youngest, we were sitting <laughs> ringside when the doors opened. We're sitting at ringside just to hang out and wait. And he comes out to say hi, and his beard is jet black. Oh, no. <laughs> jet jet oh, black. No. So you yeah, knew. We do right away. Oh. I was like, what did you do? <laughs> He's like, well, I didn't want to have gray hair when I came for the, you know, to work for this WWE event, you know. And so <laughs> we just started laughing at him. It's like, what do you do? You stick your face in a bowl of chocolate? What's going on? Here? <laughs> you know, Hulk Hogan Start does filling it. in the white spots with permanent marker. Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. So how did you meet uh, Hawaiian Lion? Well, let's see. So it was 2002, I believe, when he started training. So, All right. So when Hawaiian Lion started training, he started training under uh, another ex-wrestler named CC Star. And CC called me up and said, hey, Nav, can you come down to my place? And I want you to take a look at these guys that I'm, that I'm training, you know, and see what you think. And so I went, I went down to the, to the ring, and I saw Hawaiian Lion, and I could tell he was an amateur wrestler. Right. He had that, that look to him, you know, right. the, the cauliflower ear and, you know. The just, Kurt Angle look. Yeah, you know. And, and, uh, and so he's in the ring, he's doing drills, and he's rolling, and, and he did. The first thing I, I ever said to him was, you're doing that wrong. He, <laughs> he, he shot in, and, and he shot in on a. Well, watch this. <laughs> he shot in and on a fireman's carry. But, you know, just like you would in collegiate wrestling. But right. in professional wrestling, you're going to do it a little differently because of how we wrestle. A so, little more showboating and cooperation. And a certain side of the body, you know, right. all that type of stuff. Right. You know, you, Longevity you, is key. Yeah. So, you know, it's like you're doing that wrong. And he's just like, looked at me. I was like, oh, okay. You know, but that, that was the first thing I ever said to him. Like, hey, you're doing that wrong. And that's <laughs> so what started the budding that's relationship. What, that's what started it right there. <laughs> and then I get in the ring with him and, and we start to wrestle around a little bit. And I was having such a hard time moving him. And, and you know, stiff, you stiff. know it was He's very planted. stiff. Right. And so that's when I gave him the lesson. I, I took a stick and then I took a, a piece of rope. And he started hitting him with it. And I, yeah, I should have. I should have. It, it would have sunk in a little better. But no, I, I, uh, I showed him the rope and just moved it. And he was like, see how fluid this is? I was just moving. And he's like, yeah. I go, that's how you need to be. Right. And you see the stick and you see how this isn't moving at all? <laughs> like, this is how you are moving. So. <laughs> It's just super stiff. So super right, stiff yeah. like the stick. But right away, that's That's how, like a good Mr. Miyagi lesson right yeah, there. Exactly. Wax on, wax catch, off. Catch exactly. The, the, the best way I explained professional wrestling to him was through Star Wars. Really? You know, because he's such a, he's a big huge Star fan. Wars fan. Right. And I explained to him, you know, your, your basic storytelling of a wrestling match through Star Wars. Return you know? of the Jedi. <laughs> so, I mean, using, using episodes four, five, and six. Right, As the original. That, that explains if, if, if you look at a wrestling match and you can break it down into those three movies, like the different parts of them you know you got your beginning where you're learning who who are these two guys that are in the ring okay. who are your characters right who, who's good who's bad mm -hmm. then you have that um you know you start to to show that that battle of like the good guys win right all right and that's the episode four so the good guys are up in the match they're they're showing that they're a better wrestler empire strikes back comes in now bad guy does something to cheat to get the good guy down starts to beat him down ah. a little bit there's your empire strikes back right when they attack they find the rebel base they attack the rebel base next thing you know you know they're on a run yeah luke loses a hand and where's Han Solo? i've never heard that analogy yeah. compared yeah. to wrestling before that, is, that is really that, good that good guy that starts makes to fight back and come back you know and make that you know try to get back on that track to win the match that's your return of the jedi right he blows up that death star again so boom you know it's like that's and it, it clicked he was just like oh Oh, you know? all right, <laughs> like, all right. Yeah. So, yeah, right. I, I like to use Star Wars for you. Learned you know, about him to find out what would easily exactly. help translate. What would okay, help teach, okay. you know? So, yeah. All right, well, that, that's awesome. So, what's uh, what's next for uh, Navajo Warrior? Well, uh, let's see. As a Navajo Warrior, we're, we're gonna go singles. Um, yeah, you know, for IZW, definitely singles. Uh, in Colorado, for Rocky Mountain Pro, they have a new. Uh, up-and-coming Native American wrestler that they wanted me to mentor and, and teach. So I was there last weekend, wrestled a few matches with Carry him. Carry on that legacy. Exactly. Okay, so. And so he was the big Buffalo uh, Brew. Is that so, his name? Brew Mock. Okay. So he's, but we call him the Buffalo. And he's a big kid. Tatanka. Exactly. <laughs> right, right, <laughs> so, right. So uh, teamed with him, 
started to bring him along and see how you know we can get him to improve let that fire under him so all right so i will be teaming with him some places but for izw i'm gonna go at it alone and see what what i can do as a singles competitor all right well before we let you go i have to ask if you can uh, give us something along the lines of uh this is Navajo Warrior, and when I'm not beating everybody's ass, I'm listening to Big Lever Radio. <laughs> could, could you could you give us something? Uh, like that? Of course I can. Make it yours. This whatever, is the whatever you want to yes, say. sir. Yes, sir. So, this is the Navajo Warrior, the devastation from the reservation, Chief Graybeard. Wait, wait, scratch that. Big Chief Graybeard, the ninth strongest man in the world, over fifty. <laughs> <laughs> And when I'm not kicking butt in the ring or on the strongman competitions, I'm listening to Big Lip Radio. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice, nice. Best one we got so far. Best one we got so far. <laughs> That's great. All right, well, I know you've got a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff to do, so I don't want to hold you up. Well, thank uh, you. If you see Gino, uh, send him back here. Yeah. Uh, see Classic, you can send him back here, too, I guess. All right. Because we're getting you about guess. that time. Yeah, we're getting about yeah, that time. I don't time. know if you want that guy. <laughs> <laughs> he, every time you talk to him, he whoops your ass, Papa Jay. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't I think, think you want to happen. avoid that. I yeah. don't think that'll happen. I'm close <laughs> with both of those gentlemen. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. Yeah. Thank, thank you thank very you, much. We appreciate everything. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Can't wait to see you wrestle on singles. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, let's oh. go over the card real quick while we wait for the uh, wrestlers to. Uh, Reveal themselves. If you go to Facebook, uh, IZW Wrestling AZ, which you can find them on all their social media, they were kind enough to post all the match card Got in it. one photo. One photo. Got it right here. We're having uh, Boss Hog again today. He'll be showing up. I don't know who he's oh, wrestling. What's up, guys? What's up? I'm double fisting, by the way. Oh, I see that. <laughs> I had to clean out the fridge, so I had this and this. And yeah. I might as well. <laughs> I hear Gino's getting donuts. That's uh, why he's not here yet. Ah, you said that funny. last time. That's funny. Well, that's probably where he is. Getting donuts. You know, I couldn't remember where a Krispy Kreme was along the way here. <laughs> were you going to stop? Yeah, because actually to I wanted to eat some Krispy Kremes. <laughs> is that still on? Yeah. I don't like, know. We well, can you, probably. Yeah, we, we, just, we can turn that off and tell. Uh, but it, that's not him, is it? it, it here comes the man, the myth, the legend. The man with a plan. Gino Rivera. The man with the freaking plan. <laughs> I got a story for you guys already. What's up? Uh, what's up, Gino? How you doing? I don't want to mess up anything. How you doing? What's going on? You're good, you're good. Are we live? You can we mess live? up we everything We are live, you sir. We can't right. edit anything you're about to say. So this isn't going to ruin my fro, is it? Keep that in mind. Nah, you <laughs> don't even have to wear those. It's just your voice. Oh, okay. It's our voice. Oh. Hey, look, at he, he's got the shades on. He's you got know, the headphones. You, know. you look like a DJ, man. What are you to trying to do? You channel, got my, channel my inner rock, you know? <laughs> uh, the young rock is what I was about to say next, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, oh my yeah. guys, God. I got a story for you. Right? Uh, let's hear uh, the story, Gino. So I, I come from Albuquerque, New Mexico. I'm driving through or whatever. Right. I'm coming down the hill. It's freezing. I got the heater on. Uh, I make it through the mountains. I'm like, man, it's starting to, it's starting to get warm up here, right? You know? Um, come to Arizona. Right. Starts touching 96. And I'm right. like, what the hell? Okay. <laughs> What's heater going on? on? Hold up. I wasn't ready for all oh, this. And I'm, I'm in a suit. I'm all dressed up. This is yesterday. You know, and then yesterday was hot, whatever it is. I ruined my fro. I had to, you know, whatever, do Pick it again. Take it out. Today I wake up and I forgot to, you know, leave the, uh, the, the AC on for the hotel. Uh-oh. So I woke up ass naked in sweats <laughs> like I just had sex. <laughs> what? All my sheets nice. were kicked all just over the floor. Sweating <laughs> everywhere. I was like, what the hell? You know what I mean? I, I tried to do the AC and the AC, you know, only like blew like a slight a breeze past my ear i was like man like <laughs> is it one of those acs that's on the underneath the windowsill too so it's just blowing the hot air in at you i don't want to talk about it <laughs> <laughs> so i'm like whatever i'm gonna go to the gym so i go to the gym um at an undisclosed location because well, you're already warmed up me, right you're already warmed up i go there and i remember leaving my dessert because <laughs> i need sweets right i have this thing called a ho-ho and i love those. It's these chocolate ho-hos right i love them and i leave it in the car i'm like i'll be oh, right back damn. Go to the jam, do my thing, come back out. And now my ho-ho is swimming in the plastic bag. Like, <laughs> just like, bleh, 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 bleh. and it's I'm like, like damn, oh. like, I can't even leave a ho-ho out in my car in Arizona in 100 degrees. I mean, Not yeah, you figure, you, if you figure, like, it's Arizona, I get it. But, guys, I don't know that. You know <laughs> what I mean? So, I'm like, it's spring where I'm from. Over here, it's freaking <laughs> summer already. You ready to die. Yes. So, you know what I mean? I, 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 I don't know. Melted, melted. Oh, yes. 
What's up, Melted. What's up, baby? <laughs> that's Arizona, though. I mean, yeah, that's, yeah. That's a reputation, unfortunately. Yeah. It's so. hot and nasty. Hot and nasty. But you, you look all right. You ain't got no gleaning beams off your head, usually, which signifies nah, you're sweating. No, fresh. No, You got man. the shades. I, I mean, you're cool I, as ever. You know, no, I'm, I'm, I'm always cool, baby. I'm, yeah. I'm too, uh, too, you know. <laughs> I don't even know those things. It's too hot to handle, too cold you to hold. Too hot to handle, too cold to hold. <laughs> we'll just call you lit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what's going on? What's going on, guys? Let's well, get down to business. You got a big match today. Oh. And uh, I've, been, I've been complaining to everyone because everyone knows that you're my favorite wrestler. And you got the four-way match. Yes. You got the four-way match with Classic, Jacob, Austin Young, and a new guy whose name I'm brain farting. Here we go. Fresco Matic. That's it. Fresco Matic. I didn't even know that. I saw it on the flyer today. I thought his name was Fresco, but... They said his name is Fresco Matic, and I was like, I don't "That's know. it." A- have I you know. wrestled? You haven't wrestled him yet, huh? I I, I beat I beat on him a few times. Have you? you? Mean, you know, but Who his whole his, you wrestled? his crew jumped me a few months ago, and then I got him in the ring with Nav, who, who was unexpected <sighs> to even be in my corner. He just popped out of nowhere, and I was I'm like, "I'm a moron, I ain't a member argue of the faction, that. right yeah, there." You know, let, so let, let's camera faction. I beat on Fresco a few times. I beat on his other dude that looks like the the guy co lizard. Uh, I beat on <laughs> Watson. <laughs> I've been pulling on Watson's dreads for a few years. Now I've been beating right. the hell out of him. So it ain't no thing. You know, the, these, these folks don't obviously want to play one-on-one. They don't want to shoot Gino Rivera a fair one. No. And a fair one in the street is a one-on-one. Right. These guys obviously move in packs, hence why they're the faction and they need anybody. But where I'm from, when you join a gang, it's because you can't fight. Blood in, blood out. <laughs> right. right. It's because you can't fight Come one-on-one. Right. So you need... You need, you know, your sister, you need your brother, you need your mother, you need whoever uh, in your corner right. to go and fight. I've been in fights where I'm beating somebody's ass and now I'm fighting somebody, you know. There's three quick, other people that show quick up. Quick little story. Uh, back in school, there's this guy, he was just, he just kept, kept on, kept, in, you know, just, just doing his thing and, and, and was just talking all this smack. And I said, you know what, I'm just going to fight this dude. And right. I ended up beating right. his ass at his house, on his street, and next thing you know, I hear. I look to my left, I look to my right. I look around, I do a circle, I don't see nobody. I look down and it's his dad. His dad was a midget. I beat the shit out of the midget too. <laughs> like whatever it takes, whatever it takes. I didn't give a damn. I just saw three foot of nothing and I was like, mm, and I punted him like a soda can. So, I mean, I, I, you know, like, like I said, the faction, they move in numbers. You know what I mean? They don't do. mind my nails. My daughter's uh, painting my nails. So don't. Oh, there it is. But, I, um, I saw the post. <laughs> yeah, so uh, um, the factions, they, they move in numbers. You know what I mean? But I'm, I'm going to get them, each of them. One by one. And I got one of them in a the match. He don't have his boys. Right. So I'm going to get him. Right. You know what I mean? Then I'm going to move to the Geico Lizard. I forgot his name. I don't even know his name. Whatever We already, already forgot his name, you man. You know what I mean? It don't matter. It don't matter. It's not Gino, so whatever. And then I'm going to move on to the other fellow. I don't even know his name, dog. I'm just, I'm just going to go Jacob right Jacob Austin through. Young. No, not Jacob Austin Young. I'm talking about the faction. Oh, okay. Well, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to move. I'm going to get one by one by one by one until I get to Watson. And then I promise you, I'm shaving that boy's head. You know, I'm shaving his head Damn. off. Damn. It's hair versus hair. What do you think? Oh, man. Right? I'm, I'm buying tickets. I don't want to lose my fro. This is my culture. This is how I get around, right? It is. This is, this is. This is me. And he don't want to lose his hair. So what do we say, right? We can set something up. Hair versus hair. I ain't right. losing my hair. Hair versus but hair. But I promise you, when, when, if, when if it's a mask, if it's a hair, you know, whatever it He's is. He's a tortoise. You're the hair. Don't matter, man. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm taking something. I, I, I fight for pride. I fight for dignity. And I fight for right. respect. And this is th- this is the truth, Z Money. What's I that? have seen security footage in a parking lot of uh, <laughs> some dude trying to start trouble with Gino. He, yes. he, he looked like he was uh, three different shades of crazy. Yeah. Gino whooped his ass. All right I asked for was insurance. Lot. All I asked for was insurance, guys. You hit my car. I said, "Hey, let me get your. Info. Can I have you know? Can I have your insurance?" He didn't want to give me his insurance. So I said, okay, I'm going to snap a picture of his license plate. He stands in front of the license plate, smacks my phone. I said, oh, ho, 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 ho. Assault. <laughs> Assault. you must not know. Uh, Hold on, right? Gino. Took my shirt off and it was ding, 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 yeah, ding. Yeah, that's cool. And then, hey. <laughs> I was R3 for those who uh, I beat who that guy up too. I beat that guy <laughs> up too. But, you know, it was just once he snapped, snapped my phone, it went under the car. I was like, I ain't going to go and go under my car and go get my phone. So I just took off my shirt. Bing, 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 bing. And here is the man himself, royalty, right here. This is what we're doing it for. <laughs> right. This, this, this man right here has done so much for men like myself and all the young guys in the locker room. Right. And I just heard we're doing it for him. No, no, no. You, you see how the mood changed? <laughs> we're going oh, yeah, yeah, to keep that energy different. Um, uh, but, uh, about 25 <clears throat> minutes, 20 minutes. 
That's the man right there, guys. We're doing it for him tonight right. in celebration of him. You know what I mean? Um, celebrating dude. Uh, one, of the, one of the legacy careers I, in Arizona. I used to watch that dude uh, on the local TV in California. You know oh, what I mean? Yeah. So he was with, uh, I won't say how I know this lady, but Olivia O. Lovely. Oh, ooh, all right. Yeah. All right. I've seen her a few times on the line. I mean, uh, on TV. <laughs> Online. I heard right, you. Right, right. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Right, right, right. MSN right. Messenger. MSN Messenger. <laughs> Flipping through the channels, yeah, I'm yeah. like, hey, I love wrestling. I love Olivia. I love. <laughs> okay, I won't go there. But <laughs> I was like, okay. And next thing you know, I'm sitting in the locker room with him. I share a special. I shared a special moment with him in uh, Monster 2021. Right. Where um, I was beefing with his partner, uh, Nav. I do remember that geez. show. You know what I mean? Uh, man. I, I came up with this idea to paint my face like like Nav to antagonize him. <laughs> right. And the I one person the that uh, I asked to do it, I was like, "Hey, you mind uh, uh practicing? You know, trying this thing on my face? You know?" He's like, "Yeah. What do you want to do?" And I was like, "Oh, you know, just a little bit of white here, a little bit of black there." And we're doing it. We're doing it. And I was like, "Yeah, yeah. Do a few more dots right here. Just just keep it <laughs> yeah, right about here." And he's like, that. "What the hell am I doing?" And I was like, uh, <laughs> I "Got, got you. him. Got him. Right. <laughs> got so, him." That's how that went, you know what I mean? But, you know, it, it was fun, man, you know? Yeah. Uh, it, it, we're doing it in honor of him, you know? That was the best. Well, hey, how many uh, belts have you collected in the uh, last six months? Man, uh, I'm up to, like, 14 already. <laughs> I got a title match in, uh, uh, in North Dakota against, I don't even know, some North Russian North Dakota? Dude. Yeah, I don't know how I found my way out there. Puerto Ricans don't work over there. I'm they, like, wow. That's cold. That's I, way colder. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I was in Fargo last year, and I was like, what the hell am I doing out here? Hispanics don't belong here, okay? <laughs> like, uh-uh. I, I, I looked around. There was nothing but cows and white fences. That's I was usually like, where the Canadians are. Or something. <laughs> I don't know nothing about a Canadian, but all I know is I'm beating up a Russian or a German. <laughs> I'm going to get in his ass and I'm just going to, you know, walk out with, you know, the new cruiserweight championship. Am I a cruiserweight? Because, I mean, I'm winning heavyweight championship belts. Right? So what the hell am I? Have you won a lightweight well, heavyweight no, there's nobody championship? I've never, I've never won a light heavyweight championship. Everything I've won has been a, has been a heavyweight title. You know what Jeez. I mean? Jeez. So. That uh, speaks character, by the way. Yeah, yeah. I actually won my first championship here in Arizona. I remember yeah, that. I, remember. I was the longest. 315 days Arizona State champion. There was I nobody. I told you so. There was nobody that could beat me. You know I, I mean? remember that night when you won that belt and you were telling everybody, I told you so, I told you so. And I'm I'm uh, uh, 1, 130, 130 in the morning. I'm watching uh, championship wrestling from uh, Arizona. Yeah. And I'm sitting there in the living room where I was sleeping because I had a broken ankle and, uh, and I couldn't <laughs> He move broke nowhere. his ankle yeah. on a, a bounce house, one of the big old <laughs> air, air bounce house <laughs> things. <laughs> right? Thank uh, you. Uh, I'll right, hey, hey, hey. do a backflips, man. He's okay, trying. Okay. It didn't never, work. You know what? I've never done a backflip. Uh, yeah, well, don't. It's, it's easy, man. It's just courage. Know. Courage. You used to do them all the time, but... Nah. What do you mean you used to do them? That was that was before I was uh, uh, well back then I was two hundred pounds now I'm uh, two twenty five uh, and a lot, here, momen- a lot of momentum same a lot here. of momentum I'm trying to I'm trying to hit the, same same here. Here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to hit two thirty five by Christmas yeah yeah so, you know gotta get that Christmas I'm trying yeah. to get a new house for you know for Christmas <laughs> another I'm to, one I'm trying to get a mansion you know what I mean I'm not I'm not satisfied till I get a mansion another one no, if, if you put out some more rap songs bud no my my rap music ain't doing shit. Uh, <laughs> We're, we're Distro good. kid doesn't work. No, <laughs> it ain't working. You know what I mean? But no, like like I said, I, when I when I came up with the the moniker, I told you so. Um, man, it took me ten years to win something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And coming yeah. where I'm where I come from, we don't we don't get to win a lot. You know, what I mean? we're always we're always blues. Lose. You know, so when I came up with that, the I told you so gimmick, it was more like, man, ain't ain't nobody. Hold on. <laughs> Oh, I, I, I thought I smelled something funky. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> what you want? You I mean, look, man, this is my time. You know what I mean? Like, they paid for this. This is my time. Listen, no one really came there to listen to you. They all came for me, so how about you kick rocks and I'll see your ass up. To those, uh, to those. Hey, hey, I'm, 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 I'm going to leave them with this. I'm going to leave them yes. with this. I'm going to leave them with this confidence bubble, this yeah. head that can barely fit through the door. And as soon as he hops in the ring, I'm going to pop it. You know what I mean? And you lucky pop we it. got this closet where we can't touch each other. Okay. You lucky where we got this closet where we. Because I, I turn you. I would turn this boy into a mic right now, you know what I mean, and I'd spit all over him, you know what I'm saying? Right you know we can't touch each other. Don't get me don't get me kicked out of this building. Don't get me kicked out of the match. I'm Gino Rivera. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, your breath is bleaching my hair. Hold on. Let me let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Tell you something. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I'm gonna do to this guy just for interrupting my time. I'm gonna give him the mic. Ain't nothing he gonna say is irrelevant right. because I'm the man around here and he knows it. I know it. Everybody knows it. You guys know it, and I'm gonna show it, right? right. I'm Gina Rivera. I ain't scared of shit. 
he told you so. Damn. Oh, yeah, kick rocks. Little nursery rhyme over there. Bye. Oh. See ya. Goodbye. No one oh. told you so. Right, Get out. Right. Leave. Oh. You guys, you guys You're on my time. Shirts. All right, Gino. You bye. No one gives a shit. Let's go. Goodbye. Out. Out. Make no one cares. Oh, yeah, you didn't tell anybody. Yeah. anybody anything. All right. Get out. 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 My goodness. Classic. Oh, look. First thing. Oh. <laughs> why he's looking at me, Papa J? Why, why, why ah, is he looking at me? All this capping you did two weeks ago in Coolidge, and now you get to oh. see your destiny right in front of your face, huh? First, ah. first thing yeah. I have to do, sir, is apologize on behalf of the radio, mm. the radio and everybody. Uh, we, uh, we, we were far too vocal. We were, mm. uh, we were front row. You, we know, you know, he told me he told me he shouldn't make fun of Urkel. And I was like, mm. why did you call him that? <laughs> I've never said that, sir. <laughs> do, I, do I need to go reunite with Anna Mae one more night so I, she can kick you down south? Right, you already got your ass there's, kicked there's, for talking shit, There's bud. a video of me getting my ass kicked by Anna Mae yeah. in, uh, in front of a classic. You would think you would learn your lesson right now, huh? But that, that's what I'm saying, man. We watched you last week. We watched you take Thug to the limit. Yes. To the limit. There are some people think, saying, that you, <laughs> saying that you would have. <laughs> some people... Yeah, go kick Ross. You cheated anyways. No, you're not even a legitimate champion. Fuck out of here. Bye. <laughs> Bye. See ya. Go take your gang signs and shove them. Some people, some people, some people claim you went on points. Some people say most of that match was yours. There's four way. There's four way coming up today. Yes. Is this your ticket back into the title pitcher? I never left the title never picture. Left I never left. There's no picture without class. No, 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 no. It's very lonely right now. See, everyone knows I had Thug beaten last time, right? Right. I don't right. know what kind of underhanded tricks he pulled out of his sleeve, but, you know, clearly he cheated. Right. Hmm. But as for you, though, Mr. Vocal One, what happened? I haven't heard well, you say I, two I, words. Today, Junior. Carvana's cool? Carvana's cool. What is that? What is that? What is that football team? Uh, 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 rising, rising kids, rising is, sons. Is, is this your son? Raising I, sons. I, I, I nephew, yes. Oh, Flaming yeah. Flame oh. Heat soccer team. I, I'm is that sorry. What it is? I'm what sorry is that? that you are related to this guy. I'm what? very sorry. <laughs> I, can I ask you one question though? You told you told me it last depends. week that you uh it depends. You, you, you stream soccer and you, and then you kicked me off the show and then I had to kick you off because you said you stream soccer. Hmm. What whoa, anime? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Last time I checked, I kicked you off your own show. This is my show. And this then, ain't your show. Oh, we run this show. Sure. We run the. I own you. And then he threw my hat last yep. last Coolidge. Yep. Like yep. You don't yeah. You don't get to. Wear I got a one more question hat. before you get my good graces. Oh, what the hell I care about being your good graces for? What's, what's that going to get me? I don't know. Maybe I'm too big for my britches right now. What anime do you watch? None. <laughs> yeah, go kick rocks. Go get oh, the, damn. Go He's, get that nerd Zach's shit getting out of up. Here. Zach's out walking off. That's right. Go take your Nintendo Switch anime. Go kick rocks. There it is. There it That's is. That's right. Goodbye. Hasta luego. Don't, uh, yeah, don't let the door hit you in the ass on the way out. Bye. See ya. Now, finally, the real stars of the show are here. Jeez, how, how, do, you, how do you deal with this guy? Oh, you know, you should, you should tune in on Tuesday nights. Oh, you know, no. Between 5 and 6 when you, we go live, mm -hmm. it's he, he hard. He caps all the time. He does all this capping when I'm not around. Now I'm here, and now he's what? Uh, he's he's see, deaf mute. He hit the door. No, well, clearly, you know, I get it. My presence is just too, it's too much for some people. I get it. He, he hit the door faster than a palm mm -hmm. dress hits a hotel room floor. Now, I, right? Of course. You know, <laughs> like I said, I really sometimes I just don't know. Right. But it is what it is. Well, last week, yep. we were we were taking bets as uh, his hat was floating across the air, whether or not it was actually going to uh, get stuck in the rafters. <laughs> <laughs> it should have. Should have gone stuck on that. Oh, I swear. There's, there's five minutes of hang time. So. Back to today's match. Uh, any uh, uh, any special concerns? Anybody you're hmm. looking forward to? Anybody you're? Uh, that's a great question. The only person I'm really looking forward to is myself. Right. Myself. Right, Mr. Electricity. Of course. Right. I bring the people. I real. I rile the people up. They come to see me. Right. That's true. Hmm. Jake. Jake Cafe. Right. I'll beat him. Gino Big Mouth Rivera. You see how fast he split out of here? I'll beat him too. You know what? While I'm at it, <laughs> Fresco Matic, you're doing a good thing with Lights Camera Faction, but I'll beat yes. your ass too. So, right. So when do you uh, what's gonna be next after you win this uh this match tonight? Hmm. <laughs> don't think. Don't think I'm over at Thugnificent at all. Right. Don't think I am. He got lucky last time. It was a classic. 
It was a match for the ages. Man, what a better fine one, huh? I, yeah. I, I, dare, I dare say it was mm. one of the best a, matches ICW's ever produced. And you were, you were right there. Right there, right. I almost had him. Almost had him. So close. Like it's I said, good. if it was scored on points, you, you might be wearing the belt right now. Well, you know, right now that my, my shoulders are feeling light. My waist, right. it's feeling light. I right. need a championship. I'm going to do anything it takes to get what I want. Right. So it doesn't matter if Thugnificent wins. It doesn't matter if EJ Sparks wins. Quite frankly, I've beaten both of them before, and I'll beat them again. Do you have a preference? Not really, because, well, you know, Thug's kids are out in the crowd. His family's there. I want to beat him in front of them, right? Right. But EJ always brings his family around. I was about to say, he's, he's known for bringing family and as well. We all know what happens when I wrestle him with his family's around. They, it, it gets tense. Nah. They can't handle the pressure. Right. I can Right, it's uh, I I, re- I remember when uh, EJ won uh, the uh, CWF uh, ah, AZ belt. I remember that back one. in the day, and uh, yeah, that was that was quite a time. And uh, quite honestly, uh, EJ versus Classic match would be a classic. They all would be. <laughs> right. Who are we kidding here? They all would be. Right. Right. So. Have a preference? No, not really. It doesn't matter. They either one of those two can get the smoke from me anytime, right? Any place I see fit. We don't have my time, not theirs, right? Well, real quick, what is your streaming schedule for those who uh, want to follow your video game stream? Well, quite frankly, you know, these people really don't deserve to watch me play, they don't, <laughs> yeah, you know. But if they really feel so inclined to do so, you can follow the Twitch at Mr. Classic. That's two R's in Mr., by the way. All right. Spelled out. All right. So that's all. But well, you're not really worth my time. Now, for all of those who uh, are impressed and rightfully so by your wrestling skills, where can you be found over the next few months? Well, let's see. I will have plans to go back to Vegas. I definitely want to get back to Salt Lake City with Devotion Championship Wrestling. Looking to expand my territory. Right. And I got a six-man tag at Slam U next weekend. So Slam U, where's that? That will be in Mesa, Arizona. Interesting. So that's next weekend. Yes. I yes. have not heard of Slam U. Well, you should. Uh, I will have to do my homework. That, yes, you will. That is on me. <laughs> as, long, as long as it's you. As long as it's you. Not, not Scaredy Boy over not, there. Not Z-Money. No, don't call him Z-Money. Z- don't ever call him that. <laughs> He, de- he doesn't uh, deserve it? No, no. What na- who names himself Z-Money to run out of here? Come on. Uh, he, he, he was running out of here on a, a Nikes he had to spend a lot of money on. <laughs> get, get that man a Nike sponsorship there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, this is great. That yeah. is awesome. Well, man, it was great having you here as part of the show. And thank, thank you, you so much for your time. I you know, know you're, you're a busy man and you got things to do. I don't care what they say about you. You're a cool guy. See? You, See? Yeah, you heard it. Cool man right here. Uh, no comment. Right. <laughs> All right. Be easy. Remember, classic, Big Lip Radio, my guy right here. Right. This is a tag team made in heaven. In heaven. And Z, not money, does not exist. Z broke. Yeah. <laughs> Z broke. Yes. That's, yeah. Well, we're the new tag team now, Z broke. That's right. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So, uh, where is Z money at? Can you see if he's an uh, outsider? Ah, there he is. Coming back in. No, yeah, yeah. He's gone. He's gone, man. You're safe. You're safe, man. See, you're a lot smarter than I am. I usually uh, don't notice what's going on. I can't pick up the signs, and I usually he's get my gone? ass kicked. Yeah, so he's, he's gone. gone. He's gone. He's obviously not sitting in front of me. Nope. That, let me tell you what. That motherfucker. <sighs> yeah. His stream sucks. <laughs> wow. Going right back at it. Well, he's not here, so I can say what I want, right? <laughs> right, right. I, I he, don't he obviously he... doesn't watch our stream. Right. Oh, <laughs> my God, dude. Let's see. Let's oh, see. That fucking guy. He, he kicked me out of my own show. He did. He tried to do it last time, but unfortunately, I was the only one that could really host much. Right. So I couldn't. I, like the thing. When when your guest tells you get off your show, right. It's like a big kick to the nuts. Right. You know what I mean? It's like right. obviously you're not doing a good job, or you're talking crap, or, or whatever it may be. But uh, but you, you guys handled him while while he kicked me off. Right. He, 
gave I, the I told him what was up, man. I said, yeah, the one you can my partner like that. All right, good, yeah. Exactly what happened. Good. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, the man of the hour, the man of the show, Hawaiian Lion. How's you doing? Oh, my God. I have to say, those that? are some stylish shirts you guys have on. Oh, thank you. Thank inspired you, by one of the greatest wrestlers to ever draw breath. <laughs> yes, yes. I appreciate that. The Y line himself. All right. so, How you doing? How you doing, bud? I'm good. I'm good. A little nervous. Uh, I was about to say there's 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 a, a tension in the air. I don't usually feel at IZW events. Well, you know, this is my last match, and I got a whole uh, world's colliding thing going on with uh, people from you know my outside life and people from a wrestling life and. People that I haven't heard from for a long time, so right. it's uh, crazy. And then we got you know Pete and Ray here, Pete Ray, and uh, it's right. an honor for them to be here. That's yeah. that's exciting stuff. Those yeah. I haven't seen them wrestle in Arizona in a long yeah. time, and they're awesome. Well, they they uh, they won the the, the Heritage Tag Team titles, for, not from us, but they won them in our lineage. So we're still the uh, longest reigning title holder. So right, we still got that over them. Right, that's awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, speaking of long re- reigns. Um, uh, Thug is on 442. How do you feel about that? Is that exciting? Okay, so, you know, in, in the pandemic era, and I'm, I'm holding up uh, air quotes, when I defended the title, it was every two weeks. Sometimes we go on these long tours, and I would defend it there. I've right. de- I'm the only one that's defended it in Japan, in all Japan. Um, and uh, so... It's one thing when you defend the title every three months and you have right. the, and you and you can prep for somebody for for a month or two, or you know I did a thing where I was the fighting champion of IZW and I wrestled and I made sure I wrestled no matter who the number one contender was at that time. Right. And I beat them all. So there's a little bit of difference. I mean, you know, to to say that you've held it for X amount of days is one thing, but to say you've held it and then defended it eight times. You've is, proven yourself. Yeah. I will right. tell you that right now. You've proven yourself. Yeah. You're not going on you're not going out on a decline right now. Let me tell and, you that. And don't get me wrong, he's he beat me. Okay. You know, he beat me in a in a match that uh I, I felt I deserved and I and I was granted. Uh I trained for and and uh you know but you can't deny the fact that he is is uh really coming to his own since he won the uh the title from me in that battle royal. So <laughs> yeah. Uh, to pin me twice is uh, is pretty pretty good, especially That's in that short an time span. Right. So where he would argue uh, uh, quality over quantity, you would say a schedule makes a difference. In 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 that vein, yes. Right. Right. Um, and it's not that I didn't have quality; I did have quality and quantity. Right. Number one you contenders. You certainly had quality. You, you yeah. Absolutely bet. Now he's he's been. Uh, I feel. I feel, and I've been kind of a kind of a thug sip for uh, since, since he won the belt, and I discovered who he is. I feel like I feel like the belt has really brought out the champion in Thug. I think I think uh, he uh, handles it with pride. And, uh, he's he's definitely uh, wore that belt uh, and 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 made it uh, you know a title worth reaching for. But I, I feel like when when you get elevated, maybe a little too quick, right? Um, right. And especially in the way he won it, he he won it, and it was unexpected. And I feel like a little bit of his his character might have died out a little bit because he's he is he does have the pressure of the championship. Right, right. So and maybe that's a little also bit. Also, usually of, a bucket list item too. It's nothing right. you get like that. You got to right. work and work and work and work. And I was I was I was less than a foot away from him, and I saw it in his eyes that he was just as surprised as anybody in that in that uh, arena, including me. Yeah. And and then I was a little jealous because I do remember the first time I won it right. and, and I happened to win it off of Navajo Warrior my first time oh. and that's a battle yeah. it's a battle we were literally just talking to before you came on here it's amazing the right. things you two have been through and now to finish it off like this well it's it's sort of a full circle thing I've wrestled him my first title match and I wrestled him in a tournament I want to say around 2005 maybe yeah. 2004 and uh, other than that we've been uh yeah, we've been beating people up all over the world. Right. Since, uh, what, 2005 the uh, tribe was born? 2004. Four. Yeah. Awesome. So yeah. so this isn't your first match against Navajo Warrior? No. You are, uh, but, your uh, first match, you uh, you grabbed a strap. Yes. And, again, I was I was just as shocked as anybody in that room, <laughs> um, you know, and uh, to, to have that weight literally and figuratively to your, on your shoulders. Right. 
You know, you right. become the number one person in the company and you don't realize it at the time, but you are what the company sees and what people see the company as in, right. in your eyes, you know. The very face of the company. Right. This might uh this might help out a little bit. We got a couple people chatting right here. Um Wrestling Chuck mentioned uh thanks for the years of entertainment, Hawaiian Lion. So I really appreciate people it. People are very it's appreciative awesome. of you and uh, you're leaving behind a great legacy, I'll tell you that. Well it's a, it's in really good hands. I mean I I you know I mean Navajo Warrior is going to stay, and he and he's always trained uh, really good crops of of, of I hear he's train training the buffalo. Uh, the training buffalo. That, well, he said he's training. He told uh, us earlier. Colorado. The guy oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's okay, training okay. the buffalo. Yeah. <laughs> Not I, I, he's I a training you were buffalo. Some kind of racist <laughs> comment there, but no, yeah. no, no. That's funny, man. <laughs> Which I popped no. for. By the way, I'm going to get my ass kicked or something. <laughs> Zach's real what. good about not being racist on the microphone. On just, the microphone. Yeah, he's real good about Get that. I know you're talking about, but Get I mean, we're talking about. He knows what I'm talking. I'm not racist. We're talking about men who's, S- who's brought racist. up Cena and those kind of guys, and yeah. then through California, Colorado, Utah, Arizona, and all his wrestlers. And I take pride in in this. Is everyone that he's trained, people have been afraid of, <laughs> in and out of the ring. Yeah. Right. So we've all had a, you know, uh, a reputation, and uh, I think it's well deserved. And you know, and people know when we walk in the door, we're 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 well trained, and uh, we can we can bring it. Right, not to uh, not to be the ultimate ass kiss, but uh, I cut my teeth on AWA wrestling, Vern Gagne up yep. in the uh, Twin Cities, and when the Road Warriors walked in, very much the same feeling when uh, the Tribe walks into an <laughs> arena, and uh, you know the, the two 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 of the biggest guys in the in the room. Two well, the, we've been in we've been in the room, we've been in the back with with the Road Warriors. And uh, and and we don't feel like that. So, but I appreciate that. <laughs> well, well, the the feeling is there. Yeah. And, and at least for this guy who's been there for for both teams, I've seen both teams live. We we were able to that far. We were able to build a pretty good reputation, and uh, and uh, we just go out there and, and do our thing, and and we're kind of no nonsense. I know, wrestling styles lately have. You know, they, they like the video gamey, flippy, flyy, but you know, High flyers. we could just hit as hard as you can when you land on your feet. So You know, uh, I love uh, what Jim Cornette, Jim Cornette tends to call him. Uh, now, I like all forms of wrestling, from, uh, from, from Lucha to AEW to WWE to, to the Indies. I love it all. I'm, I'm a wrestling fan. But uh, Jim Cornette uh, calls those guys uh, cosplay wrestlers. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's, it's not too far. I mean, I, I do respect the athleticism. Right. Um, but, um, you know, a lot of the times those matches it's more are, than are, just athletics. Well, they're lost by them making a mistake. Right. You know, they slip on the banana peel and uh, get caught on something, yep. you know, or, or get hurt, you know, doing that kind of style. You can't, you can't maintain that kind of style. Navajo has been wrestling 30 years. I've been wrestling 20 years. You know, I've recovered from a broken neck. He's recovered from broken legs and everything else. So, right. you know, to do what we do at our age, um, is, uh, a testament to him and his training right one final question what does it mean to you to finish out your career in izw with navajo warrior you you picked them hand selected your your last match what does it mean to you um well you know i've wrestled people like graves and and guys like that who are legit killers and and navajo's right up there with them (laughs) right but um it was more of a uh I wanted to say like a, uh, I don't know, like a tribute, you know, um, that anybody's last match, um, you know, my last match before I broke my neck was, was Pete Goodman and he unfortunately passed away way too soon. Right. And, um, I, I want it to mean something when I, when I go out, you know, I don't want to pick somebody that I think I can, I can beat easily. I'd rather pick somebody that I know knows what they're doing and um i'm you know he's probably taught me everything he knows but i doubt he's taught me everything he knows right you know right right so i i need that test going out and uh and i can't think of anybody better than uh than him to to honor you know my last match right like i said you're going out on top right now you're going out on top right (laughs) yeah it's one of the greatest matches i'm so excited for i cannot wait to see it one I of the most it. respected careers in the state of Arizona and the Southwest. I appreciate and, uh, it. Tonight's tonight's the night, and we're all looking forward. It's to sad it. though. Yeah, I I don't get to see you ever again. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll probably be at the shows every once in a while and stuff, but uh, that's not enough. My body, you know, is uh, beat up. Like I said, I had a broken neck it's and never at you. Yeah, yeah, my arms never recovered. Um, 
you know, I don't know if anybody knows this, but my right arm never really recovered. I doubt, I, I really don't have a right tricep. Oh. So, you know, all the training that I've done, I've had to modify. And, and since 2009, 2010, um, I've been wrestling without a, without a tricep. So maybe this is the oh. best time to say it. Okay. okay. But okay. I don't wow. have the same kind of power I, I have in my left arm as I do in my right. All right. My right tricep is virtually useless. Jeez. Wow. Yeah. Papa, J, you, Papa J usually tells me to switch it up, but I don't think that's your case at this point in time. <laughs> <laughs> got to yeah. switch it up. But so that's the thing about, about what we do is, uh, you know, going through those kind of injuries, it's, it's not – uh, I didn't have to, to keep wrestling. You know, I wanted to keep wrestling and the fact that I love it this much, but you kind of have to admit sometimes when your body starts breaking down and doesn't recover as, as it used to, Right. you know, you know, and I got a family and, you know, we got kids and, you know, there's, there's more to look out for besides everybody else. You need to look out for you right now. That's what I feel like you need to yes. do. Yes. Makes sense. Makes yeah. sense. Uh, I think uh, for once, uh, Navajo is going to be uh, wrestling from the uh, from the bottom because I think there's not a person here who's, who doesn't want to see you go out with the hand raised. Well, well, I mean, we'll see. I, I, <laughs> I, you know, that's why I picked him. I wanted to test because I know the fans love him. Um, I love him, and uh, you know, I'm definitely going to leave it all in the ring. So win, lose, or draw, you know, as cliche as it sounds, um, I do want to win. But uh, I'll be happy with whatever happens. All right. Well, we'll be watching. And thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. For spending your time with us, brother. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. I really appreciate it, too. Appreciate it. Thank you. That was fun. Well, what the? Oh! I, I assumed that was well-deserved. Of course it was well-deserved, Lion. Whoa! Look at him, huh? Now you were talking all of that shit a while ago, huh? Look what happened! But hey, I got something for you. Uh, what's he, what's he got? He's got a razor! <laughs> <laughs> He's got a razor! <laughs> I can't believe yeah, this! That's right. uh, I have nothing to do with this. Uh, I can't believe that's this! That's right, yeah! That's right, this will oh, be the best oh, one in the Beard! That's right, this will be the best you ever looked in your life. Oh, yep, just look at that. Security! Oh. Yeah, 